Good morning, ladies. This is Diane Cisneros, and today is Sunday, the 24th of February, and we are about to have a snowstorm. So today's a good day to stay in and stamp. Uh, I had quite a few uh, comments on this card when I put it online, and uh, the, the uh, compliment was for this flower. And I wanted to explain, or at least point out, what a neat flower it is. Uh, I did stamp on the center portion of my doilies, so this is more like a um, napkin material. I wanted it to be real thin under the dress, but I'm going to uh, talk about the flower, quintessential flower. It's a single stamp. It is available in the large catalog on page 110. And if you'll notice, down at the bottom of page 110, you have five different measurements. It's giving you the punch measurements so that that flower can be layered easily. So go to 110, and if you'd rather get it free, it is available in our celebration flyer. Uh, a $50 order will get you one item for free. So that would be the way to go. I'm going to... Um, start by showing you the different um, punches that are required. This is two and three eighths. This is one and three quarter. This one is one inch, three quarters inch, and a half inch. So you need five punches to do this, and you've probably already got them. And the two colors that I used was Island Indigo and Lucky Limeade. Uh, that was another compliment. Everybody loved those colors together. So I went ahead and stamped five images. Okay, and I'm not going to go ahead and punch them. I've already punched them out, and I'm going to show you what to do with them once they're punched out. Um, I use my Stampin' Up! Uh, pad. It's a piercing pad. And I'm going to start with the baby one. And I'm going to punch a hole in the center. And I take the second one. This is easier than trying to line them up by hand. There's a little uh, hole. There's a little hole right in the middle. Of, it's a flower. So it's pretty easy to get the center. And then I have them all together. Run that piercer back and forth two or three times. Hold it real tight, get a brad. And you could use a decorative brad, but I didn't want to cover up that flower. And there you go. Um, now that these are on, you can turn them to make them um, off a little bit. Let me get these out of the way, bring in the card, and I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see how pretty that is. And again, uh, this is a free stamp in the uh, Celebration Flyer, and that flyer goes until March 22nd. And um, I hope that's helpful. And it is cool on just about any card, so um, enjoy that technique, and I will see you soon.